Hi there, Jason here with Arbors Abroad and welcome to the channel. Did you get the render error request CV pixel buffer for frame when trying to share a video project in Final Cut Pro 10? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. I encountered the same issue, but came across the solution to the problem and I hope it helps you out too. A while back, I came across a different failed render issue and discovered quite a wacky solution to that problem, which is kind of baffling, but it solved it. So if this video doesn't quite solve it for you, I suggest you go and check it out, which is linked here. And anyways, I think that we should just dive into the computer and I'll show you how I solved the CV pixel buffer issue. Let's do it. Now what it is that I've concluded from researching all the forums on Apple support and the external hard drive support pages is that the external hard drive is not formatted correctly for running on a Mac. For some reason, the Lacey drive was working fine on my older 2016 MacBook Pro, even though it was formatted in the XFAT Windows version. But moving over to the new 2021 MacBook Pro 14, this issue had developed. I'm not sure why. The way to test this problem and then fix the problem so that it doesn't occur again in the future is to identify which clip or clips that were yielding the error and placing those clips onto your built-in hard drive. If your timeline is set to time and frames, which it most often is, you will want to switch the time display viewing option in preferences and switch it to frames. You do this by navigating up to the top menu bar, click on Final Cut Pro, go to preferences, click on the drop down menu next to time display and click on frames. For me, my error occurred in at least the clip that frame number 281 falls into. Now identify which clip or clips the frame number falls onto by scrubbing through the project timeline until the frame number matches the one that your error is telling you it occurred at. Because I have more clips from the same camera in two different places in my project timeline, I wanted to locate both on my external hard drive. From here, this is where the solution begins to happen. Copy and paste the clips you know are the problem, and maybe even the clips that are suspected to be a problem, and paste them onto your desktop. If you do not have enough space on your computer, and must work off of an external source with enough space, you will need to use another drive that is laying around. You must make sure that the drive is formatted correctly. If you need to format the drive, make sure the information is all backed up, or that it's a blank drive. Format the drive by going into Disk Utility and select APFS. You do this by clicking on the hard drive you want to format. Click on Erase at the top of the application. Rename it to whatever you want to rename it to. Then click on Format. Click on the drop down menu and select APFS. Once you select that, all you need to do is click Erase. The computer will now run through and do its thing. Once this is complete, you can now use this drive as your test drive and future drive to edit off of. Now select the newly added clips and drag them into Final Cut Pro. This tells Final Cut Pro where the new source of the clips are located. From there, go through the same process you would normally go through to export or share your project. Wait until the task has been completed. Your project should now be complete with no request CV pixel buffer export error. Fingers crossed. Hallelujah. The render is successful. See? Right there. If this solved your problem, you now know that there is an issue with your hard drive that you have been editing off of. Just save all your files to a different drive format the drive to the APFS format and re-add all your files to that drive. If for some reason this didn't solve your problem, I encourage you to go to my other video to see how that might help you out. Well, there you have it. I hope this video helped solve your problem. Uh, you know, it sure helped me. If you have any further questions, please leave them below in the comment section there and give this video a like and subscribe if you would like more videos like this in the future. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Catch you later.